hey girlies i'm back with another video today i'm doing a double french tip flower set with butterflies um i think some ombres in there as well we love that i'm going in with my tips from shein i love getting all my tips from shein it's pretty affordable and the tips work really well um so that's what i'm doing now For those of you who are wondering what I'm doing with my tips, I'm lining the tips up with my knuckle to make sure that they are straight. Um, Cause I don't know if you can notice, but my ring finger is kind of crooked, as well as my pinky, I think. So this day I decided to use my form to measure all of my nails. It's a girl I follow on TikTok and she measures them with the forms. And she lines up the middle three fingers to make those even. And then she does the pinky and the thumb separately, if that makes sense. So I wanted to try that out. Um, usually I like to use my uh, nail clipper with the magnets. Um, if you're a nail girl, you know what I'm talking about. These are my clean instruments. Please use clean instruments. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going in and making the tips flush with the nail bed. Um, you don't have to do this. I like to do it. I think it makes everything cleaner. But that's just my opinion. I was doing these nails just to get in some practice. Um, I'm using my peel off base from Vanalisa and some cuticle oil. I just apply the cuticle oil to the nails and then apply the peel off base. I cure that and then I apply another layer of the cure off base. Cure off base, peel off base, oh my gosh. And then th that usually works for me. I glued the tips so after the video was filmed, when I was trying to take them off, that did cause me some issue with popping them off. But I just wore them overnight, and then the next day, they came off on their own. So be mindful if you're doing this pop-off base um, to not use too much nail glue when you're gluing the tips on. Because the following set, I put like a dab of glue just to hold them in place, and they pop right off. These are the flowers I'm going to be using. I got those off of Shein and then my favorite acrylic brands. Um, so I'm going in with, I don't remember, a 2B, 3B. I'm sure today or this day, I was just going with the flow. Um, no rhyme or reason. Um, but I'm working this bleed. Yeah. Because sometimes I do have issues with working the bead all the way to the tip. I'm not perfect. I have my off days. It's okay to have off days. Now, I should be going in with my second medium bead. Yeah. And then I'm working that. I had a little bit of spillage, but that's okay. I don't panic. I'm sure I've said this before. Um, if your beads are a little runny, you can add acetone to your monomer or you can drain your beads like that's what i usually do i just grab my bead if it's a little runny or a little cold in the room i'll dab it on the napkin twice and then the consistency is perfect probably after nail art application is my favorite part it is so satisfying to me
I'm checking my nails from all angles. Um, I didn't like the thickness, so I'm going in with another bead. Um, always check your nails. I've said this before. Um, and don't feel like you have to stick to a certain amount of beads, especially if you're a beginner. Take your time. Um, your application will get so much better the more you practice. Don't focus on, I need to use three beads, I need to use two beads. Just focus on having um, a good structure. How I like to work my beads down is I pat and I pull. So I'll pat left to right and then I'll drag, pull it down to the tip. If you're having issues with the acrylic being stuck in your brush, maybe um, your brush is dirty or your acrylic needs to set a little bit. Now I'm applying the flowers so I can do my ombre. Um, I was playing around with them before this clip, um, trying to see how they fit. I don't usually do encapsulations. I usually like to do nail art, fringe tips, things like that. Um, so I had to play around with them, see how I want to stick them on. I realized I think it's easier to apply these type of flowers with like nail glue and just press them in than trying to apply them with acrylic. While encapsulating, I like to keep my beads um, on the watery side. I really just want to put enough acrylic so that it's covered, not really to build anything because it can get really bulky really fast and I really don't like that. Now I'm starting my ombre. If you're having issues ombre, then um, please try out using a more wet bead and then feather out where you're trying to blend and use a really light hand. That's what helped me the most. Nail Pro's acrylic makes ombre pretty easy because the covers are more on the sheer side. I love them.
now i'm gonna cap everything in clear um i don't bring the clear all the way down to the base of the nail because the cover curly is strong enough to stand on its own i feel like doing all that is for one wasting time and making the nail even more bulky Now I'm finished filing with my 5-in-1 long bits. Um, later on, I'll go on with my medium 5-in-1 bit to debulk the encapsulated nails. And yes, I could have used this bit, but I feel like the medium is faster. I have some tips for finish filing, but I will have to include that in the next video. Uh, it'll be easier for me to explain on a client. So I'm going with this foundation gel to get started on my nail art. Um, I would not recommend this gel for a base gel. I don't even think it's a base gel for like what I'm trying to do with it. But it's the only thing I had on hand. Lately, I've been using base gel when doing nail art. Um, I'm still coming into a decision if it makes a difference for me. I usually like to buff my nails and then clean them off with a little acetone to make the surface smoother and that was fine for me once i come to a conclusion about how i feel about this i will come back to you with an opinion
about to get started on my frenchies uh double frenchies at that which is always humbling always After I finished this, I went in with a second coat. I didn't show that clip because I felt like it was redundant. Going in with my McCart rhinestone glue to apply the butterflies. Since this is a practice set, I didn't apply as much rhinestone glue as I would if this was for a client. Um, I recommend applying a decent amount so that they stay on as long as possible. I'm finishing up by applying my Koopa top coat. If you want your nails to be super clear, please clean off the bottoms of your clear nails and apply top coat. Also remember to finish fall at the end, it definitely makes a difference. Please let me know what you think about this set in the comments. Bye.